I can get it, man. I can do it. I don't... It's not even... Fucking... Bullshit, game. Hey, Jay, your Valentine. You're a sweetie, idiot. Never stop. I won't have enough time to reset again, so unless a run starts going so badly that uh, I just more or I can't I can't like uh, I don't have the morale to finish it, I'll probably just play through and make it a no reset. Sorry to hear that, 88. That sucks. Sorry, Eddie. You know we're all here for you. If you need someone to talk to, man, just uh, feel free to hit me up.
really slow. Really, really, really slow. God, I'm playing this stage like shit. I did.
That does not make up for how fucked up this world's been so far, but it's a step in the right direction. What the fuck was that? I mean, I salvaged it, but the fuck? never happened before. Yeah. Being green's good. I'm not a doctor, and I don't know very much psychology, and I don't want to weird you out by saying this, but that's uh, sometimes a symptom of borderline personality disorder. You should look it up and see if it sounds like it describes you fairly well. I'm a strong advocate for understanding and diagnosing you know, mental disorders and seeking treatment for it because there's such a stigma our society has put around having mental disorders and people are afraid to even get diagnosed. Like they think that if they have some sort of mental disorder then that makes them crazy or something like that. video games. I'm two seconds ahead after this previous split. I don't know. It's going okay. It's true. We'll 
we'll see. That might be a little bit of a pipe dream right now. I was really pleased with my Wiggler Woods last time, and I'm afraid... I didn't say multiple personality disorder. Multiple personality disorder is an extremely different thing. I said borderline personality disorder. Borderline personality disorder is typically characterized by experiencing all emotions in the extreme. Like, when you're happy, you are the happiest. And when you are sad, you are the saddest. <laughs> yeah, K-Mac. The jokes are real. You, me, and everyone I know at 88. I understand, though. Just from my, just from my small number of interactions with 88, like, I consider you a friend 88, but we haven't had a lot of, like, one-on-one -on -one personal interaction. And from the interactions we've had, I'd really be surprised if you were bipolar. But borderline, maybe. She's not vacuuming, she's blow-drying her hair, she took a shower. Borderline, I'm not saying borderline something, I'm not saying you're borderline bipolar or anything like that. It's called borderline personality disorder, I believe. seriously 80 and I would say this to anyone if you're dealing with depression like there's no shame in going to go see a doctor and seek help like there shouldn't be a stigma that's not a good spot actually worked. Yeah. yeah. I don't quite understand the term either, but what little I know about it. Um, the only thing I really know about it, which doesn't really make me qualified to tell anyone that they may or may not have it, the only thing I'm really aware is that people who have borderline personality disorder tend to experience emotions in extremes, like, even when the situation does not warrant it. 
That's the only reason that it came to mind, is because we were talking about that your ups are very up, and your downs are very down. Oh, I didn't know that, Jay. I, I wasn't aware, Jay. That's my mistake, then. If they can write you prescriptions, they're psychiatrists. Psychologists can't write prescriptions. They're not trained in medicine. J, maybe it's a language barrier, but shrinks, shrink is considered an offensive term. I mean, I don't find it offensive, but people consider it an offensive term because it's based on the concept of, like, head shrinking. It's basically not a nice term. Probably shouldn't use it if you can avoid it. You okay? Yeah, smart ball. Um, depending on your angle, when you hit a wall, if Mario's feet catch the 16th pixel, the game considers you to have landed on ground. It's weird. My best friend in high school, his mother was bipolar. She didn't take her medicine because a lot of people find, like a lot of people who are bipolar, they find that their medicine makes their thoughts incredibly cloudy. Um, so she didn't take her medicine very often. And she was like the sweetest woman in the world, but every now and then she would just like, you know, she'd be like screaming curse words at people. But she was such a sweet woman, she really was. I guess that's the mood swings or whatever.
Anyway, let's stop being armchair therapists. Probably does not help the situation to sit here and tell him about all the things he might have. All I know, 88, is that I'm here for you, and that I hope you feel better. mistake actually didn't cost me anything. Well, I mean, it, it does, but it doesn't really, because in the next stage there's a cape right at the beginning of it. This is 100% the sequel that SMW deserved. I have nothing against Yoshi's Island, but to slap the label SMW2 on that is a travesty. Exactly. I think it was just to lend legitimacy to the game, you know, SMW was such a huge best-selling game, you slap its name on something and you've got instant brand recognition. That said, it is a sequel in name only. Japanese name for it was Super Mario Bros. 4. Which I thought was really interesting. It seems to have been a naming convention only in uh, the US or in the English speaking countries that Bros games were NES, World games were SNES, Land games were Game Boy. Uh, uh, uh. You lost a little bit of time, it's okay. Yeah, I just, I was really scared where I was. I don't think there's anything wrong with Yoshi's Island, I really don't. I have no, I have no qualms with Yoshi's Island. I don't agree. Like, if I say SMW2, I don't think that Yoshi Doll should be coming to your mind. But it does, because it is.
of socks. Good job. Thanks. You have no idea how happy I am to finally see you make it through that stage. Yeah, I think I'm a little happier than you. It doesn't keep me up, it doesn't really bother me, but I find it rude to have drums in an apartment complex in the first place, because you share walls with like a billion people, but to drum at this late at night is really... I don't think it's the same thing, but okay. Yeah, I agree. I'm not saying it's not noisy, but I think one is like outbursts and one is intentional like I think there's a little bit of difference and that difference comes from intent Just remember 88, the wise wisdom, this too shall pass. And that's true of everything in life. Even when things are at their worst, this too shall pass. I think that's a fair characterization, Smurball. I don't... When when you say that this is like lost levels, I immediately think a huge ramp up in difficulty. And I don't think this really has that ramp up in difficulty. I'm biased, but I don't think that. Um, but I definitely think that that's a reasonable analogy. God damn it! God damn it. The term is Bob Saget. The term is whatever the fuck I say out loud because I'm pissed off. <sighs> there goes like 45 seconds. That's probably not accurate. 20 seconds, but still, fuck! Sometimes I clip that ledge when I land in a really weird way, and it really fucks me up. I need to find a safer place to land. That's what it is. Like, that strat works most of the time, and so I haven't felt compelled to find a new strat, but it's not safe. I really need to find a new strat. Everything I make is amazing.
Mario Maker will include SMW sprites. It does not look like it will be a very faithful recreation of Super Mario World though, so it's not like you can just use it to make Super Mario World ROM hacks. Then what's it for? Well, it's to make your own levels, but the underlying engine is the new Super Mario Bros. Wii U engine. It's just, it allows you to switch to SMB3 sprites, SMB1 sprites, SMW sprites. You can make the sprite set anything you want, but the actual... Okay, that guy can literally fuck himself. levels was just them bringing an actual existing game to the US. There was no existing set of SMW levels that were never released. Yeah, I'm not doing the fast strat for this. I've been doing ILs for this stage, and you can get a really good time on this stage, but the strat is just, fuck you. Is that like a safer what I'm doing right now. What, the boo cloud? Yeah. What's unfair about it? Like, you don't know... It, once you materialize, and you bought it, like, anytime. Yeah? It's the same way how on the Sunday Goshen... Wrong exit. Like, Wrong fucking exit. God damn it. Anyway. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. But that one's at least a pattern sprite. Like, they're two different sprite sets. Um, the only place that the original SMW used that uh, boo cloud that was mean was in that second room in Forest Ghost House. No, I'm saying the only place they used it that was mean. In Donut Ghost House, it's fine. It's no big deal. But the one in the second room of Forest Ghost House, um, like, the platforms push you up into the boo cloud. So it becomes very... rude. In 95, I said that sucks. Yeah. I absolutely do. I would have liked to have done them in the right order though, so I didn't lose overworld time. And before you do the whole, that's only overworld time, that's like six seconds lost right there at least. My sum of best is, is well below 123 now. But I will probably lose time on this split, so. If I stay green, great. And I'm almost certainly finishing this run. Like I said, I'm gonna make this a, a no reset run unless it's just my morale is too low to finish it. Well, yeah, I mean, after what I went through a couple days ago, I wouldn't wish someone to continue a bad run on anybody. Like, I get it now. Like, I get why you would do that. I just don't let myself do things that are jeopardizing my ability to enjoy what I do. You didn't play particularly badly. You just fell apart from the frustration. Which, we've all done it before. You're not... worse off because of it. Yeah, that's what Aaron told me too. I've, I've had days before where I play not really that badly, and it just eats away at me. Man, if I had a blue Yoshi, we'd be in there like swimwear! Are you supposed to? What? I'm just saying, if we had access to a blue Yoshi right here, I wouldn't be riding this right now. I would grab that shell in my mouth, and I would fly out the rest of the stage. Is there nowhere else where you can get wings? Nope. Not in this world. Not after CP3. There's one key block in uh, CP5, but there's nothing in the stage you can use to dupe a block. What's CP? Choco Peninsula? I'm in Chaco Peninsula. No, I need a blue Yoshi. The only previous place I could go back to get a blue Yoshi would be all the way in Wiggler Woods. Oh, 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 oh. I would just want to know if there was a place in Chaco Peninsula that could potentially block. No, the only
only place you could potential there's there is a place in CP2 that you could potentially block dupe, but it's so high up in the air that there's no way you'd be able to do it consistently or quickly. And then how would you get it through CP3? Well, I'm thinking more along the lines of going back to CP2 to um, get the blue Yoshi, but it's marginal return on investment at that point. It's a risky strut. This room looks like a pain in the ass. It is. It's a shame you can't actually get anywhere. Like, I still have to stop here. This whole room reminds me of this song, Chocolate Green. What? No, I'm not confused about what song you're talking about. I'm asking, why does this stage remind you of Chocolate Rain? I don't know, it does though. Chocolate Rain was the same thing to My death cost me, or my my start and select out of CP3 cost me the entire one minute and eleven seconds I was ahead by. Are you sure it just wasn't minor errors here that are close Well, yeah, but but the bulk of that was start and selecting out of CP4. Only two seconds behind, so I guess just play my ass off. I may go for some risky strats, I don't know. Thanks. I don't feel particularly compelled to play it safe. It's not like I'm on some sort of god pace here. So I may do some risky strats to try to earn some time back. I did a dumb thing. I was trying to play it too safe in Venom, and I ended up costing myself six seconds in my room. Okay. I felt pretty bad about myself. Hey, Steel Boy. But it was still sub 1250, so I was but probably by virtue of just being slow. Oh. I was really risky and I only did it because I was really afraid I wasn't going to hold on to it. I'm not going to do risky strats here. I'm going to spit it out. Oh. Play it safe, because I'm a fucking baby. What? How are you not? Hmm? How are you, what would you do if you weren't going to play it safe? It's possible to um, spit out the P-switch against a wall and re-grab it, so that I don't have to stop somewhere to reset my swallow timer. The stage could have been six seconds faster. Or at least based on my optimal time. That's not actually optimal. <laughs> That was bad. I knew it. That was a pretty passable clip. Now where do you get another Yoshi that, or do you not need more, not any more Yoshi clips? Mm -mm. No 
there's no more Yoshi clubs. I tried to find a spot to Yoshi clip in um, Arch and Ocean 3, so it'd be more consistent than trying to swim through the slope, but I just couldn't find anywhere that worked. After after that spot though, there af there's no value to going out of bounds. I I actually intentionally go inbounds here because there's no need to be out of bounds at that point. possible still. I'm doing great, Steel Boy, and I hope you are too. I hope everyone's doing great. That's all I hope for for my friends. Green switch? another cape later. It's a shame that there's a water section in between those two, otherwise I could definitely get pipe fly out of that pipe. But since I'm coming through a water section, there's no way to make that work. One of my greatest disappointments. So I really gotta get my shit together for that world. It's the world that I consistently lose all of my time. I hate that my PB did that world so well, apparently. I mean, I'm glad that my PB did it well, but now it makes my PB a nightmare to play against. might not be a bad thing though. I mean it's you got an amazing time saver in a run and then aside from minor errors here and there you didn't blow the run. Well unless you want to grind out for that amazing luck again and then just hope that that time you don't blow that six seconds. I mean those are the sorts of circumstances where people have broken the game Well, watch the video and see if you can point out what what the difference was. I only the only thing I remember about that fight is I remember really being pissed off because things weren't going well. And then I'm like, oh god, this is horrible. And before I knew it, I I depleted the rest of Hatron's health and he didn't split the three. And I'm like, okay. Like I was more shocked than anything. I blew the last stage because I was just in like disbelief. Oh, I have 
wanted a Yoshi. Which I don't, because Yoshis are stupid. Nice. Oh, it was. No, it's largely luck based is the problem. Flipping through that fast is like unheard of. On average, it takes me two or three attempts on the slope to get through. Mario can clip through any joint in two tile pieces um, as long as it meets on a lattice point. Like, as long as it meets on, like, a corner point of two 16-pixel locations. As long as he's moving at the right angle and speed. Like, remember how I used to always clip through with, uh, in VD1? When I would fly with Yoshi and I would clip through? Yeah. Like, that's, that's the same situation. The place that I was clipping through was a lattice point, and, um... Uh, well, how do you clip through? Are you talking about... Do you... Like, those spin blocks make me accidentally clip through. No, that's, a, that's actually a zip, technically. The blocks are zipping you down and through the floor. That's what's happening there. Oh, what if one, like, how we sometimes accidentally land on that thing? I've clipped through that, too, before. Yeah, the corner point between the sharp slope and the straight line. Any corner point like that uh, is easy to clip through with the right angle and speed and the slope that I'm clipping through is actually the meeting point of two tiles and that point right there is a place you can clip through. This is an above ground stage. This is the one that looks like the S3. Erg. I accidentally landed on one of them fans. The fastest strat I've found for doing this is when you know you're approaching the pipe to actually swim at water level and come up underneath the platform. That's hard to do. Because the problem is is that if you touch any one of these dolphins, they'll fuck you up. So trying to come down on the pipe is actually way harder than coming up from underneath the pipe. But you gotta find like an opening to come down to water level. Because once you're at water level, you're pretty safe. For RTA, though, I don't think that I should try to get underneath the pipe. That's really more of an IL thing. This is another above-ground stage, and I hate it. I hate it so much. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Ah! Oh, oh. Give me your shell. Thank you. I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. I, I'm still in this. I hate this stage so much. It's like there's. It's like there's no way to make this stage consistent. Like this stage is always just whatever you make of it. more stages in this world. One of them is a freebie. This one is not. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna finally do my really good strat here. We're gonna finally do it, guys. Guys. Guys, I'm gonna finally do it. Seventy-seven. Alright, alright, alright. We're, we're cooking with gas. The next pipe is 54, I think. The fastest strat is 54. Fifty-four. This next one's sometimes tough to manage, it's fifty-one. Yeah, I didn't get fifty-one. 
Right, here we go, guys. I'm gonna try to get the early cycle on this room, but that's hard. And a little bit dangerous. Alright, move to here for the setup. Alright, gotta wait, gotta wait, gotta wait, gotta wait. We got it. That's the early cycle. actually a pretty good urchin ocean so far. I, I don't have a good handle on whether or not I've lost any significant amounts of time, but most of the stages have felt like they've gone pretty well with the exception of maybe urchin ocean 4. Let's not forget that I actually have a decent chunk of time to save in Bowserland, because I've—I don't think I've had a good run yet that uh, hasn't died on um, Larry's Castle at least once. Yes, three good clips. You cannot ask for more. And the rest of the world was pretty solid, I'm not gonna lie. Everything could have been better, but this has been a pretty solid world so far. CT, that is sick. Congrats, dude. I'm really proud of you. I need to go back and watch the Chaco Peninsula in my PB and really just get an idea for how much time I have to save because I'm really starting to get the impression that there's not much and if anything I really stand to lose a lot of time on that split.
recovery. That was not a good stage, but... But whatever. <coughs> I didn't die. I'd say in general I did pretty well. Exactly as planned. Not even really a hard strap, just takes a little bit of timing. Not even a hard strap. Not a very good room, but whatever. was awesome. I landed in that pipe the moment, the frame that those coins were turning back into blocks. Either that or I got the first frame, or the, the one frame wall. I gotta highlight that. That's awesome.
Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> I really fucked that up, dude. I fucked up the strat on that stage hard. That's embarrassing. I practiced the shit out of that strat. That was a garbage stage, really. Like, for, for real. I lost, like, maybe 20 seconds on that stage total. I was just thinking to myself how amazing it would be if I could finally get a run of this stupid state or of this stupid world where I didn't ever have to go back for a cape. Hey Ashnikov. But nope, I guess we're going back for capes. It's fine. I mess that up.
second try, I'll take it. I could still be ahead. I could still be ahead. It's fine. It's fine. I'll go get a cape. That'll lose me these 30 seconds that I'm ahead by. And then we'll probably not PB. This is what this run has come to. Cannot believe that I lost my cape to some spikes.
124 mark. That would have been a gold split if I hadn't had to go back for a cape. Thanks, Smartball. I appreciate it. Thanks, Mikhail. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out with me. I know I get kind of salty about it, but... I am really happy to get a new PB. I wish I'd been better, but I think everyone has said that about every PB they've ever gotten. Yeah, we cut the 124 mark, and that's exciting. That's worth celebrating. That's why Mario's clapping right now. Thank you, Valentine. I try not to get too salty, but... It's tough. Yay percent. DSF, I'll try to do a run of that sometime for you. You're a good guy. You deserve to get to see fun games. That Bowser's Castle split's gonna be hard to beat. The only room I made any significant mistake on. Well, that's not true. The Bowser's Castle split itself will be easy to beat, but doing Bowser's Castle faster than I did it um, will will be hard to do. Because the only significant mistake I made was I had a little bit of a rough patch in the third room. Um, but everything else was solid for the most part. Well, I appreciate everyone who's been hanging out. Yeah, DSF, I need to clean up that game list so it's actually usable for me. Right now it's sort of just like a bunch of cluttered ideas, and it'll take me a long time to go through it. Thirty-five people watching an SMW ROM hack. When I first started this game, I would have never believed that I could get thirty-five people to watch a SMW ROM hack. But I really... I really appreciate it, guys. You guys mean a lot to me. You guys are the reason why I stream. And thank you so much for to playing my game.